Recently as I was talking to the Lord, I heard the Lord speaking over many. Get up again. Get ferocious in faith over the vision and what I have promised you. You are stepping into grand manifestation. At that moment I felt so strongly that there was an empowering wind of the Holy Spirit blowing fiercely into the lives of many that have felt like they have been beaten down over the vision and promises from the Lord that they are carrying and they were teetering on the edge of not fighting for the vision, or the promise anymore. When the Lord spoke those words, get up again, there was such a strong sense of resolve. There was such a strong sense of resurrection power in His presence, a fresh empowering wind of the Holy Spirit that was blowing upon these ones, as they stood up with a resolve that was rooted in the faithfulness of God to fulfill and accomplish that which He has spoken and with eyes of ferocious focus they roared no more. Immediately it took me back to many encounters, I have had over the last year seeing the Lion of Judah standing in different places, and his roar was loud no more. The roar of recompense. The roar of divine justice. The roar of restoration. The roar of sevenfold recompense. I could feel the Spirit of God reminding his people again, who he is in them and who they are. He was reminding them again of their authority, and he was reminding them again of who he is in them and who they are in him, and that he is faithful to fulfill that which he has spoken. All at once, I could feel the wind of the Spirit bringing refreshment and strengthening and healing from the battle, and at the same time, I could hear the trumpet of the Lord in the Spirit calling them to arise from the dust, arise from any toleration of the giants and to come into alignment again with his vision, his promise and shake off all Isaiah 52 2, that has tried to hold them back. It was not something to be conjured up in their own strength, but it was in the place of focusing again upon what he had spoken and refusing to move. It was a place of rested surrender, a heart posture that said, I will not be defeated. I am an overcomer in Christ, and this is what God has said. I heard the Lord say, much of the attack that many have faced has not only been over the manifestation of the vision, but it has been over the release of their voice in this hour. It has been over the release of my prophetic voice to them and through them in this hour. It has been over an army arising with a conviction of the power of my word that burns within them like fire and over the posture of the ferocious focus of faith to take me at my word and not move. The Lord continued to speak, I am bringing forth the second wind. I am bringing forth the resurrection wind. Nothing is done in your strength. It is not by might, it is not by power, it is by my spirit. I am calling these ones to ferocious focus again on my faithfulness. To lift their eyes again in worship, to lift their eyes and voices again in praise. To arise from the dust again with a decree that says my God is faithful. You are stepping into grand manifestation. When the Lord spoke the words, you are stepping into grand manifestation, I felt strongly to look up the meaning of the word grand. Grand, magnificent in size and style. Synonym, or inspiring. Definition taken from Google. The Lord spoke. The battle has been fierce, and the fire has become seven times hotter, but I am the fourth man in the fire. I am delivering you. I am bringing you forth, I am bringing you out. I am heralding your deliverance. I am trumpeting arise, shake off the dust. I am calling you forth into a place of seeing grand manifestation. The power of the mustard faith is bursting forth in this era to release monumental moves of my spirit. The battle has been fierce because of the magnitude of what I am doing in and through you. It's bigger than you think. It's greater than you can imagine. You are truly entering a time of being reintroduced to my power in this new era. You are entering a time of the most magnificent miracles you have ever witnessed that will leave you in awe and wonder of who I am. Don't shrink back. Don't allow intimidation to keep you down. Arise. Shake off the dust. Feast of my faithfulness. Get ferocious over the vision and promises I have given you, for you have entered a time of grand manifestation, which will see my holiness, majesty, power, and goodness explode all around. 
You will see like never before that I am truly the God of Ephesians 3.20.